Hey guys, welcome back to Indulge with Dimples. Today we're going to be cooking something exciting, something new, something that I love to eat when I go to five star restaurants or four star restaurants, clearly. But um, since this whole thing has been going on, I don't feel comfortable going out to restaurants, sitting down, eating. I know you're like, girl, it's cool, go ahead. Listen, Linda. <laughs> Listen, Rachel. Listen in the back. I just can't right now. So, I went to Sam's Club. Y'all know that it's my favorite store all time. Bulk in a box. And I bought some scallops. And the scallops was pretty healthy for the price. But listen, I'm going to eat good while I'm at home. And I'm going to eat good and healthy. So, this meal that I'm cooking today is delicious. It's healthy. And um, I'm going to show you how to put it together. So, follow me in the kitchen. And let's get started. And oh, yeah. I'm going to put a picture right there. And I hopefully it does justice for y'all. But the taste... I mean, the taste, it's going to be bomb. Hopefully, it tastes like the restaurants. If it don't, girl, we are all right. Let's get in the kitchen. All right, guys. Like I told you, we're going to be cooking scallops. It's going to be my first time cooking them with y'all and y'all first time watching me cook them. So, I'm just going to go down the ingredients that we're going to be using. And hopefully, we're going to pray to the cooking guys that this come out right. So, I got a cast iron skillet. I have it on medium high. And if you know anything about cast iron skillet, you always make sure... It is seasoned. Season means it's coated, it's not rusted. You got it right. So mine's the season. And all I did is just spray a little bit more olive oil in the pan, just a little bit tad. And I'm gonna get it on medium high so it can start getting warm. And you can put your hand like a little bit over it and fill it. So I have these premium grade A scallops that I bought from Sam's Club in the pack. So what you wanna do is thaw them out in the refrigerator. You don't wanna leave them out in the sink or anything just in the refrigerator and they will come to be thawed out then you want to rinse them off in cold water and you want to put them in a napkin and you want to damp them out with a napkin so that most of the moisture comes out of these scallops and they are beautiful they should not smell fishy they should not look oily they should not look milky if they do you need to throw them in the trash because they're no good so I have a paper towel at the bottom and then I have a paper towel at the top and I just pat them dry what I'm going to use is a little bit of this olive oil because we want a sear, meaning we want a crust on the outside and we're going to finish it up with a nice butter glaze sauce. Okay, so nice little oil. I put about two tablespoons of oil in here. Only thing we're going to season the scallops with while we're cooking them to get the sear is a little bit of black pepper and some salt. And I got me a pitchfork out. Or you can use a regular fork. I'm just dramatic today. So for right now, this is really on medium high. I'm going to turn it up a little bit because when I put them in the pan, I want it to be like, I want that sound. So we're just going to let this do its thing for a little bit. And then we're going to take them out. Now while that's warming up, I'm going to show you what we're going to need to use for our butter sauce. If you go to Sam's Club, you can get the garlic butter. It already has all the seasoning and sauce in there. But if you do not have this, I think it's on sale right now. You can just get a stick of butter, salt it or unsalt it. You can get you some garlic and some oregano and some other spices and herbs and throw up in there. But if you have the butter already, just add a little bit more of garlic. You can mix it yourself or you can buy it like I do, the big jar. And then you're going to add some lemon. You're going to add a quarter of milk or half and half, whatever you have. I don't have it right now. I'm going to add some accent salt. You know, we do that around here. And I'm just going to add a little bit of my favorite seasoning. That is what we're going to use for the sauce. But let's start off by searing the scallops first. And I think this is pretty hot. I hear, yeah, I hear it. So. Let's get it started. And I want to lay it on this flat side. Either side doesn't matter, but I want it flat. I don't want it round. So let's start in the middle and see if it's going to make that sound. That's what I'm looking for. So let's put them in there. Make sure you don't crowd the pan up. I got a pretty big pan, so I can put all these in there. I 
Alright guys, so once you put them in the hot pan with the oil, you do not want to pat them down. You don't want to keep moving them around like a shuffleboard. And you definitely don't want to keep peeking at it and flipping it because we're trying to get that golden brown. Now we're going to cook them until you see a little bit of it turning white at the bottom. So we know we got a good sear. I'm about to put these over. Moment of truth. But while that's going on, you can also make you a side or two sides to make this two different dishes. I'm going to make it two different dishes. So I got some boiling water back here, as you can see back here. And I'm going to put some broccoli in here. And I got this big old thing of broccoli, so I'm going to measure it out and give me some broccoli. And then I'm going to make me some Alfredo or um, fettuccine. Well, I say Alfredo. Fettuccine noodles. And I'm going to show you how we make this garlic butter scallop deliciousness going on. So let's go ahead and flip these and see the moment of truth, okay? Let's pray to the food God. Are y'all ready? Ah! Chef Ramsey, I'm here for you. Okay, I'm here. Alright guys, moment of truth. Let's flip them. If they are golden brown both sides, baby, you have did wonderful for yourself. Okay. Oh, y'all. Now, cooking scallops is just like cooking shrimp. If you overcook it, it's going to be chewy. If you undercook it, it's going to be fishy. And I think we did an excellent job. So at this point, all we're going to do is cut this down to a low, medium situation. And I have me a little pan with paper towel, and I'm just going to let it sit and rest on there. And we're going to finish cooking the rest of, of the scallops and our butter sauce. So just safely remove the scallops, and you want to sprinkle it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Just a little bit. Because the butter that I'm going to use is going to have salt in it. So I'm going to cut this down. We got a little browning in the pan. It's okay. It's not going to kill anybody. Let's get a look. This is what they're supposed to look like. A nice brownish cup. So you see we got little tidbits in here of some browning. What you want to do is go ahead and let this pan cool down a little bit. And you want to go and scrape. Well not scrape literally. But you want to go ahead and wipe this out. Because we're going to put our butter in here. And when you put your butter in here, you want it on low because you don't want the butter to scorch anything. Just give it a nice little flavor. So let me clean this off and I'll be right back. All right, so that didn't take long. As long as you have a nice seasoned skillet pan, all you have to do is take a little bit of water on your towel and wipe it out. Boom, it's clean. So I dropped my broccoli back here and I have my noodles boiling. So that's good to go. Now we're about to make this butter garlic sauce. Simple and easy way to do this because y'all know this is in my homemade semi, semi, semi store bought. Right here. Go get you some of this. They have in a different brand style flavor. Just find the one you like to use. And I'm going to get me a nice little, ooh, wish I could smell it. A nice chunk of this. Because this is going to be the base for everything. And I use this for steaks, butter, potatoes, noodles. You can use it for a lot of stuff. So, sit that in your pan. Then you want to go ahead, and if you love garlic, go ahead and get you a nice spoonful. But I'm not measuring anything out. I'm just going to go ahead and get a couple dollops. I think that would be enough. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little pepper in this sauce. No salt needed at this time because the butter got salt in it. This got salt in it. We don't need all that salt. Now, if you want to make this scratch a long way and you don't want to use a lot of butter, get you some extra virgin olive oil and just give you a couple dabs in here. Like so. You don't got to pour a lot. Just a couple dabs. And you're going to let the garlic cook a little bit and the butter melt down. Now once you get that going, all you're going to do is add about 2 tablespoons of your desired milk or half and half. And then you're going to add the scallops back in there. 
All right, so our butter sauce has melted down a tad bit. Now we're just going to add the scallops back in there. Look at that. If you didn't get a golden brown crisp like this because you used the wrong pan or your pan wasn't on high enough or you was not watching it. Either or. So gently add them back to your pan. They're going to finish off cooking in the sauce. Okay. I cannot wait to eat this. Alright. Just stir it up in the pan. Make sure all of the scallops have this beautiful butter sauce in there. And you want to make sure you keep your pan on medium, low to medium. And I'm just going to toss the sauce around in the scallops. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and drain my broccoli and noodle situation, which is right here. Drain it out. <clears throat> Some people like their broccoli like al dente. Some people like a more little crunch to it. I like my broccoli al dente and I like my noodles well cooked. Okay? And I'm just going to add it to the sauce. And now this is a serving for two. Make sure you add salt to your boiling water before you cook your noodles and your broccoli so they'll have a flavor to them. Or you can add some seasoning to them to give them more flavor. Either or. Alright. So I'm going to mix this all up in here. Make sure that my noodles and broccoli get some of that garlic sauce in there as well as my scallops. I'm going to add just a little bit of this seasoning on top. I'm going to add two tablespoons of half and half to freshen it up I'm going to put a squeeze a lemon that's gonna give it a nice like zesty pick you up if you don't want the juice of it you can zest it and put it in there as well I can stand and you got that pasta water juice on your oven can't stand it I'm gonna get a spatula cuz I do not want to scrape my cast iron skillet Make sure everything has been coated. And I'm going to let this cook down a little bit more. Give it about another five minutes. I'm going to put the lid on it. And when I come back, we are going to make our plates. And we're going to be eating a five-star meal at home. Okay? Didn't even take that long. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. What do you think? Now, if you feel like you want to add a little bit more of that garlic sauce, go ahead. Put a little bit more butter in there. Yeah. Proud of this. So I'm gonna let this cook for about two more minutes. And when I come back, I'm gonna make my plate and we're gonna be tasting this together. Alright guys, so the moment of truth, y'all been waiting for to see this 10 minute five star meal. It's here to present to you today. Ooh la la. Look at that. This is delicious. The broccoli is cooked perfect the noodles is cooked perfect and the scallops baby chef ramsey i'm ready no i'm just playing i can't cook at chef ramsey um high intensity pace wouldn't work for me so <clears throat> what we're gonna do is get us a nice little scoop of this oh i can't wait if you love butter noodles that butter sauce that we just made with that um oops making a mess with that butter you're going to love it. Kids going to love it. You're going to love it. Everybody in the family going to love it. Okay, so let's get us our scallops on here. Now you can get four scallops on here. And that is a serving for one person. Okay, let's get us some broccoli. 
Now to top this off, guys, to make it even better, put that right there. I gotta make make it look real presentable. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on top, and this meal is gonna be ready to serve. Let me get a, a fork. So let me give y'all a nice little close-up. <clears throat> so that is dinner for today. Hopefully everyone is going to try this, make it, and enjoy it. And if you do yours a different way, let me know. Mm. I did myself again. Alright, so I will see y'all next time. Next Sunday for another meal.